For this final part, we're going to modify a file that's already existing on the server repository. You can see here from last the last part we've already got a working copy with a few files in it and I'm just going to use these. So I can open this flash file right here to modify simply by double clicking and I'm going to make a very very simple change. Now when we look at our working copy view again, we'll need to hit refresh to see any changed files. And there it is, our flash file has a modified flag, meaning it's different than the one that's on the repository. And to upload that change, all I need to do is hit commit. And within a few seconds, the change is there. And if we want to see it, there it is, revision 63, the modified flash file. And that's really all there is to it. This concludes our tutorial on modifying files on a remote subversion repository. Thanks for watching.